Hey everybody, Chris Bryant here. I got a big announcement and a big video for you to go along with it. The CCNA and CSENT exams are indeed changing versions in 2013. Uh, as of this date, which is March 27, has really just been announced by Cisco in the last couple of days. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the changes to the exams, the cutoff dates, I'm going to give you all the numbers you need to know there, and more importantly really, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't feel any anxiety about these changes. And I just throw in it at you and say, hey, don't worry about it. I'm going to show you the reasons why you don't want to worry about it. Because the two rules that you need to live by right now, first off, don't panic. Because there does tend to get to be that stampede mentality sometimes on the net whenever there's a big exam change and people start worrying about it and what's on it, and etc. We're going to talk a little bit about that here. Uh, and it's, again, why you should not panic over the change. You're going to see it's just not that big a deal. Second rule, please don't stop your studies to wait for a new version. I see this happen every single time. People will use it as a rationalization, say, well, I'll come back in six months or nine months or whatever once the new version's out for a while, et cetera, et cetera. Meanwhile, you just really delayed your career uh, moving forward by nine months. And secondly, once you kill that study momentum, it's awfully hard to get it started again. I hear from people all the time that do that. You do not want to be one of those people. Keep your studies going. Now let's talk about why here after we take a look at the new exam numbers and the cutoff dates. And the cutoff date for all three current exams, the 64802 CCNA, that's the one single CCNA exam, and the two exams that make up the two exam path, the 64822 and the 64816, the last day to test for all of those is September 30. I'll make another video on this as, time, as we get closer to that date, but one thing, if you're planning to test close to that date, don't wait until September 27th to try to get a seat because every single time seats get sucked up in testing centers and all of a sudden you gotta drive 100 miles to take an exam because I know the area that I live in, Central Virginia, doesn't have nearly the testing centers there were, say, you know, seven or eight years ago. So you don't want to wait until the last minute to make that appointment. The uh, next version for the one exam, the CCNA, is 200-120, and you can see for the ICND-1, the CSENT exam, the next version is 100-101, and for the ICND-2 exam, it's 200 101. So those are the version numbers you'll look at when you go out to view.com to register for your exams. Now here's what I was talking about earlier because again I've been through many of these and not just as an instructor. I'm not talking from some ivory tower here. Uh, I've been in the middle of CCNA prep when they changed a version and I've been in the middle of CCI lab prep. Now that, that can be pretty uh, anxious because there are major changes. But here's the deal especially if you're looking at the CSENT right now and you're not looking at your CCNA, although I hope you'll change your mind. I think it's a great goal to have. Uh, really, so much of the CSENT and the CCNA, it's about the fundamentals of networking. And as I tell people all the time, this is the most important study you'll ever do. The advanced stuff is important, uh, but if you don't have the fundamentals down, you can't do the advanced stuff. You can't even learn it. And here's the thing. Switching is switching. Okay, not getting all zen on you, but uh, switches are not going to start operating differently just because Cisco changes an exam version. Okay, uh, OSPF is OSPF. Uh, if you've started studying that for your CCNA exam, there's no reason to stop because OSPF is not going to start working differently on a different exam version. You know, networking is networking. And again, so much of what you learn in the CSENT and the CCNA, it's all about the fundamentals. Now, there will always be some topics that change, absolutely. But if you're studying for the current exams, you're also studying for the new ones at the same time. So if something does happen where you don't get to take or pass the current exams, that time is not wasted. Again, if you're studying, say, for the CSENT right now, and you know something happens in the summertime you don't get to go back and study etc it doesn't mean all the time you've already put in on it is wasted time that's valuable time now what are the changes then you might ask and the first glance of the new exam blueprints show pretty much what you'd expect we're going to talk about that in just a moment if you'll allow me one quick moment i do want to invite you out to check out my courses on udemy including something i've never done for an exam change version, I, I just can't see anyone else doing this either, and it's to pay the community back for your support. When you join my video bootcamp today for $44, that's not per month, 
There are no other fees. $44 with the discount code BULLDOG60. I guarantee you'll beat the September 30 exam change. If you don't, for any reason, you'll get the videos I'll create for the new exams 100% free. And by the way, I do not roll over videos from one exam version to another. It's 100% new recordings. So uh, let me just show you that very quickly. This is what it's going to look like. We've got 3,153 people out there already. All you got to do is click redeem a coupon, put Bulldog 60 in right there, click apply. And when you are in, you're in for 44 bucks, period. And again, if you don't pass for any reason before September 30, you're going to get my all new video course for the new exams absolutely free. Please check that out. I know you'll enjoy it and you'll get a lot out of it. Now let's go back and talk about the exam blueprints because I had a guess as to what was going to be removed and what was going to be kept. And I was pretty much on target. We'll talk about what I think they should have put in. Uh, but didn't here in a minute as well. Now, what do I see from the blueprint? Now, I'm recording this on March 27th. The blueprint has been up for about two days, and uh, literally some things have been left off. They, they mentioned something like network security topics such as, and it's blank. <laughs> so I'll be making more another video on this particular topic as they fill that out. But uh, there is much more of an emphasis I could see already on IP version 6. I think that is a fantastic idea. I'm going to make sure that the new course has plenty of IP version 6. And if you are IP version 6 averse, you might want to study a little harder for the current exam. Uh, high availability via a little something called FHRP. That's totally new to the CCNA exam. Uh, SNMP versions 2 and 3, if you're taking my course, you'll see a little bit of that. Uh, but I think they're going to have a little more SNMP. There's going to be a little more network monitoring, I think, uh, on the new CCNA exam. There's definitely more of an emphasis on troubleshooting because on the Cisco website, if you look it up there, they've got troubleshooting in the exam objectives and they name like everything that could possibly be on the network. So definitely more an emphasis on troubleshooting. A little something called network time protocol is new to the CCNA exam. Those of you getting your CCNA security certification with me, you're getting a ton of that. Uh, network time protocol, very quickly, it's a way to synchronize your network's devices so they all reflect the same time. And this is a very, very important concept for your network security. You might not think it's a big deal for regular networking, but for security, uh, it is huge. And the one thing I was a little surprised that they didn't really add that I haven't seen yet is layer 3 switching. When they mention inner VLAN routing, they actually mention router on a stick which is fun to do, but I was a little surprised layer three switching was not on here. So let's talk about then what has not changed. Switching, telnet, ping, VLANs, basic routing, the command line interface, verification commands, iOS files, OSPF, EIGRP, DHCP, ACL. I'm not going to read you this whole list. And this isn't even complete. Frame Relay is still on there. Network Security is still on there. The OSI model is on there. And a whole lot more. You get the idea. And again, I, I come back to this time after time, but it's such an important concept for you to remember right now. Uh, whilst some others may be losing their head over, a over an exam change, these things don't change from one exam version to another. EIGRP, if you're taking the CCNA exam, EIGRP works the same way on the current exam as it's going to on the new one. It's just that simple. So whatever you do, whether you decide you want to beat the September 30 deadline or you want to take the new exams, which are going to be available very shortly, uh, I've, I'm never too much on taking a brand new exam. That, that may just be me. Uh, but I've never been much on it. I, I like to let others take it first. Uh, but whichever path you're taking, uh, just keep studying. If you've decided you're going you're gonna to test in December 2013, and of course by that time only the new exams would be available, uh, you can keep studying now because the changes just aren't going to be that big. You'll have to know your stuff for troubleshooting uh, and IP version 6, and I'll make sure that happens for you with my course. But again, those are the major differences. 98% of the topics are the same from one version to the other. It's just that simple. I will have many more videos on this exam change for you uh, as they fill out that blueprint a little bit. And of course, I'm going to start a brand new YouTube series as well. So you definitely want to check me out there. I also post all those videos on Udemy, and I know you'll enjoy those as well. Thanks for taking 10 minutes to watch this video. I hope you found it worthwhile. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making TBA part of your Cisco certification success story.